Exactly right. I, uh, there's also a lot, of, there's a lot of different classifications for mines. I mean, I mean where from like strip mines, uh, where they just go on the ground and just dig. Exactly right, big holes. Uh, they used to do hydraulic mining, which is where they use massive water cannons. Yes, exactly. Right. Uh, not like a strip mine, but it's not quite. Yes. Are we going to sleep? Yeah, at least in the strip mine, you're still going through a good bit. Wow. All right, y'all. Oh, wow. Get side up against the wall as they walk past you here. So uh, a lot of the uh, mine is uh, inaccessible, especially to the public. You have it, and a lot of them, even from there, uh, are so uh, even further underground that we get tours, so they're either under underwater. All right. Well, down here, even though this was a gold mine, well, the miners were actually looking for quartz underground. That's because they discovered that inside of quartz they could find gold. Now, most deposits of quartz are just a few inches wide. This deposit, well, they got gold fever because it only took them one day to mine out this entire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all quartz right here, isn't it? Exactly right. Somebody stop finding gold in that there? Yeah, so that's cooking flour. <laughs> yeah, so that gold is really about the size of dust, even the powder. In fact, it was so small that they would have to mine out before they would find just one ounce of gold. And we actually call this the wishing rock. Well, that's because if you hit your head... Yep. Mine tracks right here. In fact, a little later in the tour, we actually have a couple of mine cars I can show you. Stayed flooded for close to 80 years. We don't want to 
ลูกเอ้ยระวังรถเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเชิญเราเช
And it's going to take a little while to do. Uh, you just want to shake, shake, shake. And gently wash away that sand. Bring it back up. Shake, shake, shake. Remember, right up to that red line, but not past it. And wash away that sand. Now, after about 15 minutes, uh, you should be down to about a good handful of material left in your pan. Now, this is what we like to call a good handful. Now, Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, let's go somewhere. Where are we going? <coughs> oh, that's a... Two nice pieces. Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you. You got two pieces of gold right there. Oh. Great job. <laughs> right, let's see here. Very good. Very I, good. I don't know how to do this. Ooh, got a rattle to it. There you go, buddy. Uh, That's all yours. Let me see. Let me see. Turn this to the side and look right down the top. You can see all that right there. I'll do it. I try. Now just don't show me this gold to the IRS. Let me take this out. Let me take this out. You ready to find your gold? Yeah, you want to know if you need a little piece of this panel. So, this is actually a piece of uh, mineral called mica. You see all the shiny stuff on the top, the top of the sand here? Um, it's very light mineral, so that's why it stays in the top. See where it's all mineral But yeah, it looks really shiny underground. Uh, Any gold now? Yes. A couple pieces. A couple pieces of gold. Not bad. Really? Stuck out yep. on the first piece. Let's see if we can find it in this one here. Okay, thank you very much. Yep. Okay, thank you. We got two pieces going here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah, 
चाहिँ बिग बोय भन्छ Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah,
That's a bag. I didn't think